guys work on uh, transfer cases. Hey Jason, um, I was calling to see if you guys do transfer case repair. Would I be able to get a quote on how much it might cost for a rebuild on mine? I think it's just the chain is stretched. It, yeah, I think the chain stretch, so you hear it popping. It still works and everything, but like if you put it in for low, you just hear a tonk, tonk, tonk. Gotcha. Alright, well, thanks for your help. What's up guys? So just a minute ago, I was calling around trying to figure out, you know, how much it would cost to get my transfer case rebuilt. Recently I started thinking about it and although I probably could rebuild it myself, I feel like the safer option is just to pay someone else to do it because I plan on traveling statewide and my goal is for there to be as little repairs as possible while I'm traveling. I know the repairs are inevitable. I know that very well, <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, but I would like to try to avoid any unnecessary repairs and the thing is, is if I do it myself and I mess something up, even just like the smallest thing and it ends up having to be something else I can repair, I don't have the luxury of just being able to drive to my house where I can park my Jeep in the garage and repair it until further notice. It's a portable home so if like something big happens, I might just have to pay someone in the future to get it worked on because it might put me in a position where I would have to force myself to get it done, fi get it fixed at a shop, so it would probably just become inevitable. Although I do think I'm very capable of getting things done, I just don't trust myself enough. I'm, I'm aware of the fact that even though I'm pretty good at fixing things, I don't have a lot of experience under my belt. Besides that fact, um, the only issue is I'm calling around and it seems like every single shop is quoting me at about $1,000, so I'm trying to see if I can get it cheaper. I don't want to spend more than like 800 at maximum but I mean I have to do what I got to do at the end of the day who knows how much it's supposed to cost I got a new knife ta-da it's actually sharp enough that I could shave with it razor sharp very well built knife it's got a nice good grip on there um, I haven't decided if I like it or not it is a little big I basically base every knife I have on whether or not I can slice potatoes if it's too big to slice a potato then I don't like it if it's not too big to slice a potato then it'll work just kind of one thing at a time at this point. But, burr, it's kind of kind of chilly outside. Recently I was noticing though, I'm gaining weight, I'm getting fat. I haven't really changed my diet up too much, but I think that the biggest thing is is that I'm not really doing anything. I can't think of the last time I even went on a walk or a jog or anything. I'm not being active. I used to be a very active person. I used to like do stuff all the time, and even though I didn't ever eat healthy, I used to be very, like I'd run and all sorts of stuff, so. I'm gonna have to start doing workouts of some kind. I figured today's as good a day as ever to start. Keyword for the day, burpees. I knew I was out of shape, but holy crap, I am like bad. Definitely need to get back into like jogging in the morning or something. Honestly, just in general, I really need to get a new routine. I've been going to bed at like three or four o'clock every night, every day for the last few nights. Not a healthy schedule. On top of that, I know that I've definitely not been helping with my eating habits or whatever. There was a time that I could jump off of buildings and then run into the sunset. And now, if I jumped off of something that was like three foot tall, I'd probably hurt myself, it's that bad. I also need to start getting on a better basis of um, 
where I spend my money. I was buying a lot of fast food when I was living in the RV because just in general, um, I wasn't doing too hot, wasn't feeling too great. And like I couldn't cook in there very easily. It was always lopsided. So I tried cooking for a while and it didn't really work out aside from like buying sushi, which doesn't have a lot of flavor. So it wasn't very appetizing overall. Now that I'm back in the Jeep and I'm couch surfing at Meme's house, trying to get into a better routine of things. So I'm gonna try to force myself to start doing things like running in the morning, working out, getting healthy, maybe start bodybuilding. I want to get these gains, you know, get huge and also be sleek at the same time. How about potatoes? Yeah. The best. Potatoes, muscle milk, ah. muscle milk. If I start drinking this in the morning, I think it'll help. I also got this, they had it there. It's the H-E-B brand, but this is one of those containers that you like, you put the stuff in and you shake it and it helps with the powder or whatever. It's just a fancy cup is all it is, but I figured it'd help, whatever. Apples, bananas, and that's pretty much it actually. About all that stuff, probably put this all back in the bag. Definitely need to motivate myself, kinda try to get back out there, get out there and do stuff, but. I'm gonna head back to memes. I left a lot of dishes yesterday. Big mess, and I have dishes of my own that I need to do. Might as well use a stink instead of, you know, doing my own thing. Time to head out. Hmm. Just because I live like a homeless man does not mean I have to look like a homeless man. I was just as confused as you though. <laughs> she said she eats the batter.